Good evening, my friends. How are you? I hope you guys are doing very well. And welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So let's go to the point directly. Uh, last week, uh, I predicted that the Euro USD should actually start rising more up and reverse right from this support here. So it should actually continue to go more up. What happened this week that the Euro USD has faced a lot of pressure. We can see that the pair, the pair has actually reversed on this trend line here and it continued to go more down and this support here was not strong enough to make the pair bounce and therefore the pressure led the pair to go actually more down on this support zone here. So right here on this support zone if we look at the daily chart we are facing a lot of rejection. We can see a long wicks here meaning the pair is not really able to break from this support le level and if we check the weekly chart as I told you beco before we are here facing a very strong support level right on this level here so this support level if we apply hit and run rules we see here the support number one after the breakout candle then we have this support here uh, on attempt number two so seeing these price actions on the weekly and daily chart indicating that the pair must be reversing and going more up before actually it start to go more down so the answer the question is what should we do or predict for this week we think that the pair actually is now gonna reverse this price action on the daily chart this is what people calling I think the morning star or abandoned baby whatever I don't care for these names but this price action indicating that there's a reversal coming so if we look at the pair on the four hour chart we can see that we have here a small resistance right here and the pair is actually reversing right on this resistance so I think the pair will continue to go a little bit more down on this support level here before it start to shoot more up um, let's be more specific so if we want to apply the trend line theory on this pair I will draw the trend line right here and now I will place it on this previous resistance like that so we can expect a reversal on this support level here so the pair is actually should be fine to buy if it enter this uh, support zone and you can mark it on your support line on the chart on your chart on the support level so the pair should be fine to, bu to buy right on 1.11540 and then you can make your profit uh, don't keep your trade for a long time I guess better you just take your profit right on this resistance at 1.12090 so if we do that we can look up for something like 50 to 55 pips of profit and that should be fine but anyway I believe the euro USD is heading up after bouncing on this support level so now going to the pound USD going to the GBP USD is actually quite tricky uh, last week I thought that GB, the GBP USD will actually go more up on this to hit this resistance before it starts falling more down however the pound indeed went little bit up the pound went little bit up but not to the point where I mentioned it went a little bit lower I think I mentioned that it will reverse on this resistance but it actually reversed on this resistance here and then started to fall more down now to be honest with you the pound is really hard to predict it is now facing a stronger uh, support level if we check the weekly and daily chart we can see that there is a very strong support level right now so the pound is actually not moving based on these uh, support and resistance rules not on high on the, not high on, uh, high demand and supply it's moving based on the bad news for brexit and Theresa May's resist uh, uh, resistance <laughs> i mean resignation so i really think it's uh, not easy to predict the pound usd and i would prefer to stay away from it please don't uh, trade the pound usd f uh, for the meantime until we see what will gonna happen with uh, the pound it's really not stable right now and I highly recommend you to stay away from it it's totally unstable 
you will you will face a lot of ups and downs and it can actually make you lose a lot of money before realizing that you could have made a lot of money if you hold your position so for this week i really don't recommend uh, analyzing the pound but if you if you must be if you must do that if you want to follow uh, if you want to actually do something for the pound usd you can wait for it to be more safe you can wait for it to come more down actually 150 pips to hit the support level and from this point you can actually start buying the pound usd but before that i really don't recommend doing anything again i'm telling you the pound is not stable it's moving a lot based on the news and therefore i prefer to stay away from it so let's now go to the aud usd now the aud usd is actually still falling down for quite long time but now we have here some some pullback now i don't think the pullback will stop here actually it should i believe should continue to go more up until hitting this resistance before it start to fall more down now if you want to have the best shots now we are on the daily chart going to the four hour chart I think it is best best option for you to wait the pair to reach the support level on 0 0.69139 and then you can place your buy option right here and hopefully the pair will continue to go more up and I think it's not really safe to keep this trade going for a long time you can exit your trade on this resistance on 0 0.70 0 0.700 you can exit your trade and expect ab about uh, 87 pips of profit again if we want to apply the trend line theory on this one so we have this support here like that and we can see that this support the pair has bounced on this support and right now we can see that the pair is above this trend line we have to wait what will gonna happen on the Monday's uh, markets opening and I believe uh, the open will be a little bit lower most likely because of the rejection of uh, the pr strong rejection on this resistance so the pair most likely will go will go a little bit more down before it actually start to go more up so that was my prediction for the AUD USD I think it is actually gonna go more up now let's go to the USD CAD I forgot to show the AUD USD last week. We have to have we have to check actually. AUD USD last week. I said that the pair will bounce on this uh, sub previous support, and it will go more down. So let's see what, what happened actually. It didn't even reach this uh, this point yet. I said that it should reverse right on this uh, previous support here, and the pair actually still struggling. To reach it that's why as i mentioned it is still good for buy the ud usd and you can exit your trade instead of this this resistance move your target to this previous support here so let's go now to the usd cad the usd cad i think finally was about to break from this uh, long time uh, channel it's, it's trapped in this channel for quite long time actually so i i thought that it will actually now break and sadly it is still st still stuck in this trend line here in the in the, ch in the channel here so now we are facing now again another rejection on this resistance so maybe the pair will again go a little bit more down before actually continue to go more up i stick to my word that the Euro the the usd cad should actually continue to go more up until hitting this resistance level i believe that what should happen and I will stick to it that's why I believe that the USD CAD should be actually good for buy on this previous resistance right here or let's be, let's be more accurate I believe here yes check that here mm. this seems about right yes exactly so what we can expect for the USD CAD it will fall a little bit more down and from this point here 
on 1.134638 you can start buying the USD CAD again it should actually bounce on this trend line it has to happen I think and then uh, keep your trade running if it will reach this week to hit this uh, resistance level on 1.36510 so that was my prediction for the USD CAD and I hope this time finally we will have it going up let's go now to the USD GPY USD GPY I think I predicted that this pair is going down yes uh, as I mentioned this is the USD GPY this is the screenshot from the last video and I said that the USD GPY will bounce on this support level and then it will go up to this resistance and then from this uh, from this uh, resistance you can start shorting the USD GPY and that is exactly what happened the pair has reached this resistance before even uh, reaching the support level so before reaching the support we can see that the pair has actually bounced and went up all the way to hit this resistance exactly as I mentioned and then if you sold here you would have made a lot of profit that would have been now almost 148 pips of profit very good and that's why I believe the USD GPY will actually go a little bit up at this support level here I think it's time for the USD GPY it will bounce on this support number one and then it should actually continue to go more up until hitting this previous support so USD GPY is actually not bad for buy on one point uh, sorry 108.138 and then you can keep your position for almost 100 pips and exit your trade at this nearest support on one, uh, 109.200 uh, let's see what will gonna happen later after that but that is what I think gonna, gonna happen for the USD GPY it's possible that the pair will continue to go more up to hit this resistance and then it might actually bounce to hit this support again and it will continue to go more up until hitting this previous resistance so of course that's gonna take months but for the meantime I prefer that the USD GPY should be actually good for buy right on the support level now last thing let's go to the USD CHF uh, let's check what I said about the USD CHF last week um, the pair seems like it actually went down a little bit am I getting I confused or something hold on uh, no I said that the pair will, will go down to hit the support level here this support level, uh, support level here right yes indeed but the pair actually went up to uh, let me tell you what I did what I thought that the pair will actually go a little bit more down before it actually continue to go more up and hit this previous resistance what happened is the pair has already immediately went up and hit on this previous support uh, so uh, previous resistance and we can check the pair indeed it immediately went up to hit this resistance level as I mentioned and now it's going all the way down uh, it made a very strong uh, bearish momentum the reversal on this resistance was actually pretty high we can see that from this strong fall here from this strong uh, bearish candle and the rejection and the long weeks on this uh, on these candles it's indicating that this uh, resistance here and here and here is very strong and the pair was not able to break from that therefore I believe it will continue to go more down again to the same support level where I mentioned the pair will, will reverse actually let's be accurate as much as possible right here that is what I think that the USD CHF will actually continue to go more down and from this point as 0 0.99860 we can expect a reversal only to hit this previous resistance here but then it should actually it might actually continue to go more and more down so what's your best shot here don't do anything for the USD CHF until you see it actually let me tell you something wait for the USD CHF 
to go a little bit more down if it goes if it goes more down then you have to wait for the breakout to complete and wait again for the pair to come a little bit more up hitting this previous resistance and then sell the USDCHF and place your target all the way until hitting this previous support here uh, let me just be accurate and tell you where exactly right here uh, let me just draw it like that so we can expect a profit of about 76 pips on 0 0.99265 hopefully that's how the pair will gonna move and I think that was that is what gonna happen exactly it will be very good for sell on 1.00088 so guys uh, I hope this analysis uh, helping you for this upcoming week and I hope everyone will make a lot of profit and on this occasion I would like to say happy Eid for all my my brothers uh, for the ending of Ramadan and yeah uh, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching